what is going on guys your boy joey shake 72 coming guys with a video right now so i want to go over some news obviously it's about jake elliott the kicker for the philadelphia eagles and it looks like guys we're not going to be able to get out of this contract you know jake elliott is probably the last player i've been thinking about this whole offseason because we've had so many more you know just so much more we actually had to look forward to and, and other issues other than the kicker position like nick seriani has talked about competition um but the only position we don't have co competition at is the kicker position. And this is why we are stuck with Jake Elliott. Okay. Jake Elliott signed a five-year, $20.15 million deal. Okay. Two, uh, $2.25 million in 2022 sal salary guaranteed. Okay. So... The Eagles did restructure Jake Elliott back in March. We only saved about 1.1 million. Okay, he was counting 3.3 million against the cap. 3.3 million for a kicker. Like that deal, and I totally forgot they signed him to an extension, but I forgot actually how much it was. That's ridiculous. I mean, Jake Elliott coming in from what the Bengals practice squad, you know, and just filling in in 2017 was the hero by week three of the opener against the giants kicking that you know that game-winning field goal and then the rest was history after that okay you know he missed a couple field goals that year but he's been the total opposite of choke you would think he would miss 50 yarders but i think the closest field goal i've seen him miss was a 21 yard field goal i mean that's ridiculous um you know, if we can't we can't get out of this contract, guys, we've already restructured, so there is nothing else we could do. There's actually going to be dead cap if we flat out release him, and the Eagles don't need any more of that from a kicker. Now, there has been some rumors that Jake Elliott has been um, working out with some of the Baltimore players. I think one, uh, I think a coach's son or something like that, something like that. I don't, I don't know, but he's been working on his kicking game this off season and hopefully it does pay off. And I mean, that's crazy. I mean, just to have a contract, a five-year contract for a kicker. I mean, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Um, has been very inconsistent, has just been a total, just a total mess and um you know i don't know what else to do i mean you know when cameron johnson left i was kind of surprised our punter and then they picked up um that other guy i have no idea what his name is we picked him up like early like right when the season ended we picked him up seropia i forgot his name he's got a, he's got a different last name but with the kicker position i was hoping and then last year if you don't if you remember guys during the 2020 season we actually signed well we didn't sign but we brought in two kickers and apparently they didn't pan out. So veteran favoritism over two kickers that came in. You're telling me the two kickers you brought in last year couldn't even beat Jake Elliott. So I don't know what the answer is here, but this is what I think. They're just going to play out his contract. Not the whole thing, obviously, but there's got to be some sort of, while it's, you know, 2022, 2023, they can, you know, the dead cap won't be, you know, won't be that high. I don't know. But a five-year, $20 million deal, that's that's crazy for a kicker. I mean, I don't know what he ranks in paid kickers, but that's a lot of money for a kicker. That's, <laughs> that's not a Justin Tucker you have on your team. This is a guy that's very... Very inconsistent in what he does. And, you know, your only job is to kick. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how you have one job, you can't even get that right. And I don't know. But, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. Hopefully Jake Elliott has a good year this year. Maybe with this new coaching staff, obviously the new uh the new special teams coordinator now. Maybe we'll, you know, be more hard on him. And and obviously, you know, he's not the only one that's, you know, this whole roster is getting evaluated and obviously, you know, trying to produce. So Jake Elliott better have a good year in 2021. I'm telling you, like, I don't think the Eagles are going to do nothing with him. Obviously, this year, because of his contract, there's no saving any money with Jake Elliott with this contract. So that's where I'm pretty much getting at that we're stuck with Jake Elliott in 2021. And we'll see after this year what happens. We'll see how he kicks this year. But, you know, obviously, um, yeah, that contract, I wouldn't give a kicker that contract unless I wouldn't even, I mean, it baffles my mind you give a kicker that much money. This is Doug. This was the Doug era. This is what this is what we have to deal with. And once these leftovers are done, we get out of this era. We're more smart with our cap situation. We're more smart with our money. Then maybe we'll have some more common sense when re-signing players. But Jake Elliott never deserved to get a five-year extension. Never. Okay. But it is what it is. At least give him a, a one-year, two-year extension. I mean, some five years. I mean, come on now.
but um, we'll see what happens, guys. I don't want to make this too long, but other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Jake Elliott going to this year, why there's no competition, and, you know, obviously, would you just flat out release him and just take the dead cap hit? Who cares at this point? Just want to know what you guys think. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Jake's going up, follow us five. Peace out, guys. Peace.